Well today I'm out here in the garage doing another boiler system except one thing's missing, the actual boiler. So what happened was I went to the supplier, um, went to pick up the Navian unit that uh, was going to be used for this system. It was actually a 250-150 um, and it had a little bit of wear around the edges of the uh, cardboard box that it was in. Now they packed those boilers in a lot of foam and you know, I actually opened up the top, looked in there, all looked well. I got it back here into the shop and quickly realized as soon as I pulled it out, you know, the side was dented in, some of the bottom had a dent in it. And, you know, I take absolutely zero exceptions with using something like that. I, I will not allow anybody's system to go out there with any nick, scratch, anything. You know, these systems cost a lot of money and they also take me a lot of work uh, and, and chew up a lot of my time to do them, um, but I will only deliver a quality product. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I brought that back to the um, supplier. They're going to actually get another one in. They didn't have one of those specific models in stock. So tomorrow we're going to go grab that one as well as another one we have lined up. And we have another one lined up after that. So I'm actually going to get two systems going at once, and then I'll bring in the third one uh, when this gets wrapped up. So not much to show you on the board today, but what I'm doing right now is actually just getting all my fittings together, um, all this stuff ahead of time, like usual. Um, so I would have been able at this point to start laying out the system as I've shown you in other videos, but um, this one's just going to have to wait on. So like I said, tomorrow I'll go grab the boilers we're waiting on. This one's actually going to be for um, two air handlers in a home. So we went with 007Es, the high efficiency circulators. Um, the customer wanted to upgrade to the high efficiency models. Um, we're going to be using inch and a quarter piping uh, for, you know, after calculating all the BTUs and that are required by both air handlers, um, you can then choose pipe diameter based on that and also size your pumps accordingly. Um, and if you get a system from me, you know, I do all that upfront design for you. I choose all the components. Um, I do have a few options. Like I said, you could upgrade to different circulators. There's a couple different models, and I usually discuss that with all my customers um, and give them my recommendation as well. So um, one thing I'll say is if you're putting one of these boiler systems like in a rental home or you know a, an apartment that you're renting out, that happens quite a bit actually for a lot of baseboard systems. I say let's get heat in there, do a top quality job, but maybe you don't want to spend a little extra on the upgraded pumps. Um, there are some that are you know, a minor amount of additional money. And then there's some that you could upgrade to something like a VT2218, a variable speed pump that could get pretty expensive. So if it's a forever home or something you really want to squeeze every bit of efficiency out of, you know, I could talk to you about options of those, those different pumps. But, um, so for this one, they opted to go for the upgraded, what I call sort of like the mid upgrade, which is not the VT2218s, um, but the high efficiency model of these. It's kind of a no-brainer because the additional cost is pretty minor. Um, I usually try to explain that to all my customers, at least saying, you know, at a minimum, just go with this. It's like, a, you know, less, about a hundred bucks or something extra. So, um, yeah, if you got any questions or want me to build you a system, just uh, I'll put my contact info in here. And please check out the other videos. I do a lot of videos about the other systems we make and the ones that I've done in the past. If you need any consulting and you want to actually build your own, I can actually help you design a full system. Uh, just reach out. Again, I'll put my contact info in the description. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't yet already. And we'll see you guys in the next one.